What's up guys, it's Manga Time once again. I'm here today to bring you my review of Bleach 568, Here, Fear, Here 2. And I'm glad Kubo decided to reuse that awesome title. But before we begin, I just really want to quickly direct your attention to my new channel, Culture Shock. Uh, basically, it's just me and a couple of friends talking about games, movies, and TV, and I'd so appreciate it if you could just go and check it out. Maybe subscribe, you know, see if you like it or not, drop us some questions and comments and uh, follow us on Twitter and things like that. You know, if you're into that sort of thing, that'd be really great, and I, I really, really would appreciate the support on the new channel. Um, so yeah, if you guys could do that, that would just be so fantastic. Um, but anyway, on to the chapter itself. Yes! Fuck yes! I mean, as soon as I saw the title, I was like, yes, this is going to be a chapter I like. Um... Basically, it starts off with Rukia very slowly returning to her original body temperature, because if apparently she does it too fast, she gets injured. So that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm glad it's um, got a weakness, that that broken ability of hers. But uh, basically, it's a one-shot attack. You know, if she fails to kill them once, she, she's screwed, uh, basically. Um, and she does damage herself. Her thumb cuts. And, you know, she's like, uh, she, well, she thinks she's going for longer than four seconds. Now apparently, as I as not must be saying fear, because somehow she can she can hear him either that or he's like doing something, um, and still thinking it. But you know he's thinking to himself, is this fear? And he's and then he's like, no, um, and and somehow he just breaks out of it. Now I'm not really sure because he doesn't he hasn't actually activated Volson Dig at this point, so. Uh, I don't know how he's breaking out of the ice, but he, at the same time, his mask starts to break as well. Uh, and I was really like, oh my god, what is going to be under this? Um, but apparently his only fear is to be scolded by his majesty. Um, he says, my only fear is being scolded by his majesty and to lose my body completely. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Does that mean get get scolded and be destroyed? Like, you know, Yuhar Bark would kill him. Or does he mean dying and returning to Yuhava? You know, like we found out in uh, 565, um, how the spirits return to Yuhava when they die. So I don't know, like, is that what he means? I, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's a bit disappointing in a way that Kubo made it that he doesn't really have, apparently doesn't have many fears. Although I imagine he'll be experiencing it next chapter. Um... Well, he says he says that he only has one fear, but he must have at least started to think he was feeling fear when Rukia froze him, otherwise he wouldn't have started thinking about that at all. So, I imagine he probably has more than that, but then we see his face. Whoa! That's creepy. It's creepy, but it's kind of not as creepy as I was expecting. I was expecting, like, some sideways sort of mouth with fangs and stuff like that. Basically, he doesn't have any lips. Uh, yeah. So he looks pretty disgusting. He looks, he looks, he does look weird. He does look weird, um, and he, he still has some ice on his face, I think. But yeah, he looks, he does look weird. Um, but we don't, we don't see him in this form for very long. We see it in literally one page, which is a bit, a bit of a shame. Um, so, but, okay, but yeah, this is weird. He he moves. His, he does the whole eye rolly thing, and for some reason, his Quincy cross is on his eye. Like, why would you do that? How How is he doing it? Um, well, I, don't, I yeah, but the blood, blood starts coming out of his eye, and then he Volston digs, and whoa, that's creepy as hell. Um, his Volston dig is apparently called Tartar Foras, but I imagine it's got a different, slightly different translation on the manga stream version. Apparently it means God's Sphere, but I think it's poor Latin. I think it's poor Latin. I don't think it's, like, right. <laughs> um, yeah. At least we have another Volstendig name now. Woohoo! Uh, alongside Kurge's Biskiel and Colonel Sanders' Grimaniel. Um, but yeah, he looks creepy. He looks a little bit like Ulkiora's release. Um, he's got, like, blood streaming down his eyes. His eyes are completely rolled up in the back of his head now. Um, he's got a pretty intricate looking halo. He's got like a, you know, just the, the typical kind of Vandenreich star, but then he's got like a spiked ring going around it. Um, and he's very emaciated. His body is stitched up the front. That's disgusting. Um, but his body like turns into a dress halfway down. 
Uh, so that's interesting. Yeah, he's completely emaciated, and Rukia leaps backwards away from him, but as not kind of like jumps and lands behind her, and he's still he's still got his good kind of goofy but awesome looking design, uh, which is just so full of like emotion. And he does actually have wings. They're they're like the uh, the spiked ring around his head, but only bigger, um, which is slightly disappointing. Actually, I will admit, I was kind of hoping he would have big, big kind of wings, but now looking at that, I have to admit that if he had big kind of bat star wings, he'd look too much like Okiura. Um, he also doesn't have any shoes on. Just thought I'd point that out. Uh, so yeah, Ruki tries to slice him, but... And this is quite clever, actually. Um, she tries to cut him again, and it, it, it looks like she's leaping forwards and, like, jumping after him, but we find out that she has actually stood in the same spot. Um... She's just been standing in the same spot trying to attack him. And he's like, your feet are paralysed. And she's like, do you mean my body is feeling fear? That's not possible. And and as is basically like, you're looking at me. And he's really wigging out. He's going completely mental at this point. Uh, and then Kubo applies some of his broken physics. The cells of your body have indeed stopped below freezing point. However, your nerves are still working, which is pretty stupid. Um... And just shows that Kuba really should not try and apply physics to this manga. Um, and then, as basically activates Tartar Forest's ability, and it's um, like this series of wires around them, I think. Well, I mean, I thought they were eyes at first, because you get that big picture of that eye. But I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> but yeah, there's lots of streams around them. And basically, like eyes open up in the middle of them, very reminiscent of Zomari. Uh, which is interesting, since a certain someone arrives at the end of the chapter. Um, but yeah, the eyes all open up, and as is like, you know, whenever you look, you'll see my eyes, You can't, es your nerves can't escape, and she tries to shut her eyes, but it's too late now. Um, and as starts going crazy, he's like, you know, happy memories will stay in your heart, but ma bad memories will stay with you longer, uh, like past fears suddenly appearing in the dark of the night. And basically, Rukia gets, like, all these memories uh, start showing up, and they've all got, everyone's got black eyes, which is kind of creepy. Um, I don't know if they're supposed to be bad memories or not. I don't think they are. I don't know, really. Orohime doesn't look too happy in one of the pictures. I think, I'm pretty sure that bit with Orohime is when Urahara told her she can't fight anymore. And she wigs out. She goes, like, all upset. But, I mean, like, that one there's not a bad memory. That's just her returning her power switch ago. So, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's kind of weird. But, uh, Rukia, like goes friggin' crazy, and as is like, you'll be burned to death, your heart will be burned to death by the fear you've been avoiding so far. So I like that. That's the same uh, style of killing people that he uses in the first invasion, when he tells Biakia that people's heart are burn and blart when he they, they feel his fear. However, rather predict predictably, Tartar Forest kind of gets slashed, and at this point I was like, oh, here we go. Here we go. So Ruki is like freaking out, and Biakia turn and as not turns around, and he's like, "You are," and Biakia is standing there with his Shikai activated. Um, so we know that we've seen a Bankai. I have to admit, he looks freaking badass. Actually, Biakia, he looks very cool. He's got like his turban, but his uh, his hood goes up above his mouth like that. So you can really see that of him. Uh, he's still got his tassels, um, and it's he doesn't appear to be. Oh wait, yes, he is wearing Hayori. He is wearing one. Sorry. Um, well, at least he's wearing a second layer of a cape anyway. Um, it doesn't appear to have the markings that Hayori generally has at the bottom, but maybe it does somewhere. But anyway, he looks very cool, and his, his cloak is like that, it's attached like that. But yeah, he looks very good. Um, he looks cool, and that's the end of the chapter. Uh, so obviously we're getting Byakia versus Az again. I can't see Az lasting much longer than another chapter, uh, or two, maybe. Um... I think yeah, mo I think most people thought it would be Urbiakia versus As. It kind of had to be. Um, now I know I was very annoyed with the last chapter, but I have to admit it's slightly disappointing that you know Rukia isn't going to win this fight because I honestly would have, in a way, preferred Rukia to defeat Biakia. Um, not to, not Biakia defeat As, not with uh, with a Bankai. Now it's weird that she doesn't appear to have a Bankai. Um, or if she does, she's going to use it against another opponent. I think Kuba's going to give her a proper fight later on against the person who defeated her in the first invasion. If you remember when she tried to go to Biakia's side, her enemy was like, you're turning away from me? You know, how, how disrespectful. And then they cut her down. I don't know why they didn't kill her. 
but you know, um, a lot of people seem to think that was one of the Fem Ritters, like Giselle perhaps, so I can see Rukia having a long fight against one of them, where she possibly uses a Bankai, I, uh, I think that's how Kuba's going to kind of get around having her loot, basically lose to Asnot, um, because there was no way she was getting out of that, she'd started to fall into the same trap Byakia had fallen into. Uh, and luckily he saved it. Of course we could get Byakia and Rukia versus Asnot, which would be awesome, although he wouldn't stand a hope in hell. Um, now, a couple of things. How on earth did Byakia get here before Ichigo? Ichigo left a couple, of, probably a couple of hours ago now, um, and he was blitzing, uh, and as to our knowledge, Byakia was still like, I'm trying to re return to the level of power needed to feel dizzy. So, I have no idea how he is here already. Um, I, I'm, I'm almost thinking something's happened to Ichigo on the way down again, like it did last time. Um, but yeah, it's certainly weird uh, that Byakuya got here first. The power of the plot, perhaps? I don't know, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's that's interesting. Uh, Byakuya, I, I, I really kind of hope Byakuya is not going to be, like, overpowered. Um, I would like to think that with his Bankai, and you know, maybe a little bit of new power, he's strong enough to beat Az. Because I would say that Byakuya, because obviously when Byakuya was defeated by Az the first time, Az had stolen his Bankai, um, so Byakuya was debilitated. I would like to think that Byakuya is now strong enough with his Bankai to have a good, even fight with Az, nice and kind of two chapters maybe, of just brutal back and forth. Um, I don't want some one-sided bullshit. Uh, but I can unfortunately see it that way. I can just see a total Byakia monologue one hit kill coming up. Uh, but I really hope Cuba doesn't go that route because he seems to like As Not's design. Um, so I'd, li I ho I'd like to think he kind of keeps him around for a bit of a scuffle. Even Master Masculine got a little bit of a back and forth with Renji, so I am kind of hoping for a good fight. Um, I've been saying all along that I was I knew Byakia was going to come back, and I resigned myself to that fact, and I was just hoping for a good fight. So that's what I really hope we get to see. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of it for the chapter, really. Um, great, I, I loved it. I mean, what can I say? It's exactly what I wanted to happen. Um, as it's Volson League looks awesome. Disappointed that Rukia didn't have a Bankai, but Byakia coming in, he looks cool as hell. Um, uh, ooh, I don't know what to give the chapter. I'm kind of confused between a 9 and a 10. Uh, I'm just going to give it a 10. You know, I, I thought it was great. I, I I can't really think of much I thought was wrong with it, to be honest. Um, you know, designs, as looks awesome, Byakia looks awesome. Um, and I'm just glad that the fights are continuing and the character wasn't wasted. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this chapter. Oh, my panel of the week. It's got to be when As not transformed, because it's just creepy as hell. The art was phenomenal in this chapter, though. Um, but the one where Asnot literally just start, literally transforms and says Tata for us. Great panel. But also Byakuya arriving looks very cool as well. But it's also kind of a bit dull, the one where Byakuya arrives. Um, like, he looks cool. His design looks cool. But as far as, as like, a pose goes, it's a bit dull. Um, but yeah, Asnot transforming. That's panel of the week for me. But let me know in the comments below what you thought of this chapter, guys. Are you kind of a bit disappointed that Rukia's victory was probably taken away from her? Maybe you wanted to see a Rukia Bankai. You know, what do you think of As is Volston Dig Tartar for us? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, give this video a thumbs up. It really, really just supports me so much. And if you haven't already, subscribe by clicking this button up here. Um, I'd really appreciate it. And also, guys, once again, please just check out Culture Shock. Again, I'd super appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you guys checked out. Subscribe, maybe. Um, but that's it for me this week, guys, and I shall catch you next week when we might get the conclusion to this fight, but then again, we might not. So, for now, see you guys later.